its belief and its existence is purely on inference alone. Most of you probably used a navigation app to come to this job set this morning, and it told you a route to take, it told you the time of your arrival, it told you if there was traffic in route, it told you if there were road closures, and you believed all of it. You believed, so we believe in the unseen all the time. Without any previous evidence of any of those things, you believed it to be true. So society believes in the unseen all the time. But the moment it comes to God, there is a tendency to make an exception. There is a strong bias, especially by scientists. The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, uh, he told the Quraysh, he said that, if I told you that there is an army behind this mountain, ready to attack, and that you cannot, that you cannot see, would you believe? And just like your Google Maps, you had no problem believing it to be true. But the moment the Prophet says, give up your idols, suddenly man cannot overcome his pride. Every era, every generation has its idols. So whether a star worshiper or a star explorer, idol worshipers reveal their prejudice against God. While they are often perfectly normal intellectually otherwise, and some of them can be quite bright, they are merely hiding their prejudice, prejudice against God, and set aside their intellectual uh, uh, abilities momentarily just to escape this reality of God. Jahiliya will sometimes ask, if God wants us to find Him, then why does He make it difficult? Why is He so elusive? Why is it as though He were behind some kind of veil? Why can't He make it easy? God has angels already, and they believe and obey God by design. Allah desired a creation that obeys and believes in Him by choice, not because we have to, but because we choose to believe in Him. And when choice, when a choice is made, a difference is understood between someone who cares and someone who really doesn't. Allah wants you to seek Him through prayer because that's how we are tested. A good student is known by an examination. You know, an examination distinguishes between a good student and a bad student. So this is the same thing, and no one would ever try to say that a good student and a bad student should have an equal report. So, if you face this elusiveness of Allah Ta'ala and it bothers you, you're going to know that it's by design. So don't be disillusioned by it, don't be discouraged by it, but rather you should understand it. Now seeing things, 